This episode is sponsored by Audible.com, the leading provider of audiobooks in the world. All right, everybody, today I'm going to talk about why I am selling my LP640. Uh, it's been a fun run. I want to say it's been a fun run. I feel like when we rented out Lamborghini LP640s, I drove them more. Now we rent out the Lamborghini Aventadors, and I don't even drive those. There's something bulky and heavy. There's something awesome about the car. I mean, it's like a spaceship. Everybody looks at it. It's got a great road presence. It's loud. It, it just it screams, look at me but it's not as much fun to drive as a bunch of the other cars I have. So this one's got to go. Uh, honestly, I've had it for a, over a year now and it's spent more time as a pizza as it has me driving it. So that said to me, I'm like, you know what? I'm crossing my fingers. I'm hoping I'm going to land the Ford GT. It looks like I am. Uh, I've got an order in on a Ferrari. So there's a lot going on that this money is probably better put to use elsewhere than parked in a Lamborghini that I don't really drive. So uh, this one you'll find for sale relatively soon. Who knows, it may even be sold by the time this video goes up, but it, it's been a fun ride. I mean, the car still sounds terrific. It's got a great motor and it's still the best value. It's gone up a little bit in value since I bought it, but it's still the best value right now in Lamborghinis. This car is gonna be worth a quarter million bucks again at some point in time in the next three to five years. It's not at the moment. I'm gonna sell it for 170, 175 grand, whatever it ends up getting. Um, but even to get an, a regular Murcielago, you're talking it's 140 to 150. A Diablo is even more than that. So this car, it's, it's a much better car than a Diablo. It's a Lamborghini, it's a much better car than the Murcielago. It's not reflected at the current market price. So look for this car to go up, but it's gonna be on somebody else's watch, not mine. Um, I'm probably going to use it on Bullfest. Bullfest is coming up in about two weeks in the New York area. After that, this car is going to be out the door. So that's it. It's been fun. I know a lot of people have told me not to sell it, not to sell it. Oh, keep it, keep it, keep it. I just don't drive it. And I'm not a guy to own a car that I don't drive. So one last look. There you go. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll, you know what? Here's a little montage. Here's a montage of some of the fun times me and this car have had together. Uh, I added this, the 2007 Lamborghini LP640, to my fleet. My key and I couldn't figure out where it was and then I realized I left it in the car because who's going to steal a Lamborghini at a Lamborghini meet? So all you want to do is ram it up like these guys. You put your doors up. All the stuff that other people can't do. It just v 12 to where it's at, baby. That was cute, wasn't it? So before I sign off, uh, I want to thank audible.com for sponsoring this episode. Thank you guys very much. Uh, I use audible.com. It's actually very cool if you like to read books, but you don't have time to read books like me. Uh, I listen to them on the treadmill. I listen to them when I'm at the gym and stuff like that, long road trips. It's better than listening to the mindless entertainment that you hear on the radio. Uh, one book that I like, that, well, one book that I like to read, but I also like to listen to, uh, Lauren Hillebrand wrote uh, Unbroken, which then became a movie by Angelina Jolie about Louis Zamperini. Great book, I enjoyed it. If you haven't read it yet, or if you haven't had time to listen to it, definitely check it out. Uh, there's 250,000 books on there. It'll keep you busy. I'm a big non-fiction person. Uh, I don't like the dragons and everything like that. If I'm gonna spend the time using my brain to read or listen to something, I wanna actually learn something, either history, an interesting story, something that actually transpired, or just I wanna learn and, and become a little bit smarter than I am. Because every book you read, you learn something that you didn't know before you listened or read it. So thank you guys for watching. Check out the link below. Uh, you can get your first book for free, whether you sign up for the subscription and then lose it, or you keep it, uh, your first book is gonna be free. Thank you for watching, I'll catch you next time. I appreciate you guys supporting those who support us by clicking on the link below to start your trial subscription today.